just done the climb and we're dropping into the, the main descent on the Verderers Trail. This top part is basically just full of corners, some tight ones to start with. It starts to get a little bit faster as we start coming down the track. in all of these corners to really hold you in and carry a nice bit of flow down the trail. Nice big flat 180 corner just to bring us back out onto the fire road before going into the next little part. Dropping into the second section on the Verderer's Descent. This is all just been newly surfaced, so it's actually pretty loose in places, but also very easy to pick up speed without really trying. You've got to go a little bit careful. Really nice corners again with a lot of support to hold you. little pedal to get us back into the woods. little bit of a pedal before we drop into a couple more rollers. A little bit bigger these ones than the last one we rode. Just again trying to keep our speed under control, trying to keep those wheels on the floor. And then we come into the last section which is full of corners. We go a little bit careful down through here again because this top surface is really loose. Another little 
little corner that catches people out. If you're going too fast, make sure. Keeping the eyes looking up ahead on the trail. Just coming into the final section now. The last 180 left hand corner. Bringing this on to the home straight now. Thank you. And the very last little 30 seconds just brings us back into the car park.